Two weeks ago, Topaz launched their new photo AI program and I put out my initial test video and thoughts on the program. After using it for three weeks now, however, I've come to only love it even more and realize more and more that the program is way better than I initially thought. Topaz is giving a 15% off through my link in the description below in addition to their $40 off during launch for only one more week. So I wanted to create one last video showing it to you guys and my thoughts on how incredible the new program is in case you were on the fence for buying it. All right, you guys, so we actually got Topaz Photo AI pulled up right here. And what I wanna do is take this image that was actually shot from really far away, really isn't phenomenal or spectacular of an image at all, and really transform it by cropping it in a lot and showing the power of Topaz Photo AI and how it can transform your images to make it a decent image. It's still not gonna be perfect by any means, but it'll be way better than it looks in this previous image. So Let's start out by pulling this out to 50%. And now you'll see that autopilot has already detected the subject. So if I scroll over this subject, you can see that Topaz Photo AI has detected the subject and it's determined that we should definitely at least enhance the resolution, which I couldn't agree more. But however, we do want to do a couple more things to this photo. There definitely is a lot of noise. So if you see this older image right here, you can see there's a lot of pretty gnarly noise in this image. If we zoom in, you can really see that noise there. But I want to get rid of the noise some. So what I'm going to do is remove noise. And I'm going to keep it on a normal strength um, or a normal uh, kind of setting with a very low strength. I'm actually probably going to keep it at one. Yeah, it looks great even when it's just at one because it wasn't that intense of a noise setup. So you can see the difference now between pre denoising it and now after. Already a phenomenal and huge difference, like night and day. This image is actually decently usable now already without any other adjustments. But the remove noise, so did that first. We also enhanced the resolution. That was something that the autopilot already determined, but if it didn't determine that, I was gonna do that as well. What that essentially is gonna do is make it feel like there's um, more pixels within the frame that we're looking at. Um, we can also upscale it even if we want, upscaling it, for example, to times two, that will make it twice as high in resolution. Yeah, I think that might actually be a good choice. That actually looks really nice there because it was a little bit lower in resolution since we cropped in so far. So we're gonna go with that upscale times two and already this image is looking great. Now this is a usable image. This is an image that actually I could post on Instagram, you know, show it off in a showcase of portfolio and it doesn't look horrible. There's definitely some adjustments now. This is an image I took quite a while ago and I definitely do some lighting adjustments in it, kind of bring out the eye a little bit more of the Kingfisher, stuff like that. But otherwise this is a pretty dang solid image. So this next image, what I really wanna do here is highlight the fact that you can actually recover uh, decently out of focus images and help them feel like they're more in focus once again. It can recover that sharpness in the image that you lost on the subject specifically. And it does an incredibly clean job of that. With Sharpen AI, one of the things that I was always hesitant about if you own that Topaz program is that Sharpen AI sometimes would accidentally over sharpen too much of the scene and it'd be really hard to mask that out. So this program does a phenomenal job of making sure it really only sharpens the subject and does it even more effectively with less chromatic aberration. So you can see we have the sparrow here um, as compared to the image there. And you can see already, so it's deciding that we should remove some luminance noise, which I agree with that completely. You can see the luminance before and the luminance after, or the noise before, I should say, the noise after. And it looks a lot cleaner already. If you're viewing this on a computer and watching this YouTube video on a computer, this is gonna be ideal to see the results in these differences. On a phone, may be a lot more difficult, but already looks much, much cleaner. So I definitely like that about the remove noise. Let's see just for sake what they kind of came up with. A strength of four, normal. I think that's probably pretty great. Could probably tinker with that a little bit, but for sake of right now, we'll just leave that as is. We really don't need higher resolution here. I don't feel like we're at a decent resolution already. Um, so I'm probably gonna leave that alone. But what I will do now is sharpen it. This is really what I wanted to highlight with this image because you notice that it's a little bit soft on the bird here and particularly the eye, you aren't able to see it quite as well. Now that we've kind of updated this and shown this, you can see the difference between these two. It looks so much nicer. You can see this sage sparrow so much better than before and particularly pay attention to those feathers right there on its breast. 
now you feel like you actually get some feather detail there from kind of the, the wet feathers that are bathing in the water. So I really like that. And just to point this out too, you'll notice when I scroll over this subject only, which is what I want it to only sharpen. I only want it to sharpen the subject. When I scroll over it, you'll notice the mask that it's applying. You can also notice in the top right corner up here, um, but the mask that it's applying is really only isolating down onto the bird and it's autopilot detecting all of that stuff, which is great. So you don't get accidental over sharpening in the water, which can be a big problem when trying to use Sharpen AI. Fantastic um, recovery here and it really stands out quite a bit and I really like these results. So lastly, let's switch over to this final image. And this image is really good for showcasing denoising once again, but also really defining and helping accent the features of the wildlife subject that we're looking at. So here we have a pygmy owl, which was shot with an older camera setup that I used to use that didn't have very good noise handling capabilities. So this was shot kind of under a forest shade really late in the day. And what I want to do is kind of define those eyes in the pygmy owl and help bring those out because those are really prominent and really nice, as well as kind of just isolate it from the background and all the noise around it um, that's being caused by the low noise capabilities of my old camera. So what we're going to do here first of all is remove the noise. So we already have the noise removed and then um, or yeah according to Topaz Photo AI they've already determined that the noise should be removed and I pretty much agree with that. I don't think that we really need to adjust it. it seems like all the noise is being removed at the strength that it already set for us. What we want to go into next is go into sharpen. And let's see once again, um, so you have lens blur and motion blur. So if you guys need a situation with motion blur, this can also be really helpful there. Motion blur is more, if it's streaking one way or another, you wanna use that. If it's just slightly out of focus or you wanna make it a little bit sharper, use lens blur instead. So we have lens blur on and you'll see that it really just popped the pygmy owl from before. Look at those eyes in particular. The eyes look incredibly, incredibly strong as opposed to before. Let's zoom in even more. And the eyes feel really defined now there as opposed to before. Wow, that is, man, zooming in 200% really shows off that difference there of how much more defined this owl looks here as opposed to that image. I mean, night and day difference. It just really helps to bring this image out. What I'm also gonna be doing for those of you who are watching the videos, I'm actually gonna be throwing all of these files into a Google Drive folder in the description below. So if you guys really wanna see in detail and compare them, because YouTube is compressing this quality, right? So you're not even actually getting to see the true results of this completely. But if you guys wanna see those files and wanna see these images, I'm gonna download them into a Google Drive folder. You guys can download them, blow them up, see them for yourselves, kind of observe the details in them and really get to know how powerful this program is by viewing it how you want to see it and defining it on your own terms so overall love this image i love the results here i think that all these things are really great for it so i'm going to save this image and call it good honestly topaz photo ai is gaining a new place in my editing workflow as the only program i need outside of lightroom and the occasional photoshop it's an all-in-one correction platform for soft and noisy images and i'm currently using it on every single photo i take in my brain, you can spend hundreds of dollars to get an ever so slightly better lens, or you can spend just a little bit over $100 during this promo to get drastically better quality of image. In short, I try to always be honest in my reviews and state who this product is good for, but honestly, this time I'd say that everyone should own this program. It's an absolute game changer and large improvement from their previous programs, even if you own those. If you're gonna get it, check out my discount in the description below and I'll see you guys next time.